inflation is still a problem in the United States and beyond. We saw the non-farm payrolls number effectively telling us that the labor market is still red hot and there are pressures uh, that haven't abated yet. Uh, how is the messaging around profits going to be any different to this? Um, yeah, that, that is clearly the, the macro and inflation is still the overriding theme that uh, uh, all, all market participants are really preoccupied with. So that, that, that is the overriding theme for sure. And then what, is, uh, what are central banks going to do about it? But then underneath it, I think um, where we are at the moment, there has been quite a big move in rates already, clearly over the last uh, six months or so. And now I think we're just uh, calibrating. So uh, the heavy lifting has been done, but now the, the nuances are, are, I think, what we are looking at. And, and that's really difficult to judge. So I think what earnings are coming in is for investors to uh, establish when the recession is likely to happen. And so clearly, uh, if the recession, and you know there will be a recession at some point, but uh, Will it give central banks um, enough runway to raise interest rates in order to rein in inflation? Will central banks at some point pause and say, well, now we see inflation already ticking down. It may not be where we want it to be, but we want to see you know, uh, what the monetary policies that we have put in place. Uh, we will want to give it some time for it to come through. And I think all those things is what investors are, are looking at. So I think earnings is just one piece of the puzzle to see how long central banks have time uh, to be as hawkish on, uh, on inflation as, as they are at the moment. I think that's a terrific point, Tatjana. So let me ask you a question about whether you increase your risk or reduce it going into the second quarter earnings season. So uh, fundamentally, I think we're there already that we can say uh, prices and, you know, I'm talking about corporate credit where prices have now collapsed in high yield into the low 80s. That is not a place where uh, credit is trading generally. So, uh, you know, given sort of past history, you would think that within a relatively short period of time, we're heading back to power again. Uh, and credit markets are anticipating recession. So if you were to only be interested in credit when we're, you know, full blown into recession, that, that's sort of already at, at the back end. Having said that, um, it, it feels that in Europe we have broadly priced it in. So we are now at a level of around 700 in spread in the US less so, but then the, the US doesn't face the issues that Europe faces around Russia and gas supply and all those things that very, is very European specific. Um, so if you have a longer term investment horizon, yes, you know, clearly that we have about 12, 18 months, we should have nice uh, high single digit returns in investment grade and double digit returns in, in high yield. But near term, uh, you know, just sort of is, is, is a mark to market move. There may be a little bit more to come. So we are still a bit on the sidelines in that regard. We're not reducing risk because we like to carry, but we are not quite adding risk either.